Okay, we're recording. So, you know, it's just not going to be perfect, okay? That's just, yeah. But then it is perfect. Okay, so we're going to close this. So this is like the preparation for a video. I mean, I just really can't do it any other way, okay? So what I'm doing right now is I'm writing a comment to Christopher Ritecki. And he says the most amazing thing. Let's see if this will come out. So the ego is going to go after or chase after a different type of relationship, or maybe not chase. Maybe so not for chase. Libras, this is Libra. it's a new visual, a new spiritual view on lifestyle. You are now in integrity with self-love as of this week and looking to where love will go. And you're also exploring relationships and where relationships can go. So basically, I just wanted to come on and, and say what the, what is happening. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you're in a dream and you wake up and you remember nothing. And this is what happens to me every time I turn on the camera. It's not even freaking funny. But let me read <clears throat> my comment because I just gave Christopher a comment. And this is what I said about that. So the Libra, or maybe not Chase, you said that so fast I had to stop it and say, What? Your way with words, you leave a mark. Shopping for an archetype. It's so funny because it's true. And I have been getting lots of practice of late. My Libra, 27 degrees moon. She is so powerful in my chart as a Cancer. My son Cancer never understood why I felt it necessary to chase men. It's Or even friendships, everything. It's like an empty longing. Neither did my ascendant Capricorn approve, who thought of it as repugnant so beneath me and then the resultant self-loathing for considering it wow brutal right i am so happy to hear that the libras are coming out of the cave of self-flagellation love witeki isn't astrology great i feel so privileged to use it and to know it of course but experiencing it is the best way to learn it i only understood the moon in any chart after I got to know my three kids after they became adults. They each have a different moon and house placement, but each one mirrors who I was and what I did in their lives when they were born. It's a little scary, to be honest. I didn't want to always admit those sides of me, but if I want to love them for who they are, I don't just get to admit it, I also get to embrace them in love and acceptance. It's the only way. It's the only humane way. If we are not human to ourselves, we cannot love another humanely. We are a danger to others because we are a danger to ourselves first. Right. So stop. Yeah. So my kids all know astrology now and each other's signs as much as i know as much as i know it feels like everyone is reading my mail so to speak and if i thought these kids truly understand what these facets their moon signs mean about their mom i would be embarrassed and but i'm a capricorn you know we have so much pride Okay, so I found the conflict between everybody. Sun, moon, ascendant. Like three sisters living in one house. Why can't we all be one? And I asked my sun, my moon, and my ascendant to try to get along with each other. It's working out a little, but the housework still doesn't always get done. Maybe someday. <laughs>